All right, so I was looking for one specific picture for my presentation. And there, we had this huge tote, and I swear everybody's like in the comments, because I was dragging it out of the spare room, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't lift this. But, um, yes, that's me sucking my big toe when I was little. But You're sucking your toe? I thought it was your thumb! <laughs> oh! <laughs> toe jam, toe jam. That's my underwear, and that's my foot right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you stopped? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have. But I was looking through all these pictures and I was like, wow, I was a really weird kid back then. Like, my parents actually took pictures of me. It's better. I know you guys have all seen a butt before. I was standing in the kitchen, naked, doing something. I don't know. I was, must have been looking at my mom, something. Um, in this picture, I was putting on makeup, I guess. I don't know. Back then, I had two personalities. Um, I used to kiss frogs, thinking I would turn into a princess, because that's what my mom told me. <laughs> you literally put your mouth in the frog. <laughs> yes, I probably would. And then I'd like make them like come over my head and make them dance. <laughs> that's just what I did. This and then I was a girly girl and I did makeup and stuff, so that's that was interesting. But um, something that I think is really unique about me is when I was born, I had hip dysplasia. And this is a little stained up, but this is my brace that I had to wear for three months oh. when I was a baby because my hips were out of line. And it is hereditary. I don't know anybody else who have has like has this. Um, my cousin has it too. And um, she actually did not wear her brace like she was supposed to. And she has a lot of hip problems right now. Um, her like my hips ache when we have bad storms and stuff and um, but like her hips, they're just, they're still out of line, you know, and her mom says, you know, I really regret not putting that brace on her when she was a baby. And my mom's like, well, duh, like, the doctor said you should put them on, you should put them on. So, that, I think that's really unique and, um, I don't know, it's just kind of cool, I think. And my family. Um, this picture was actually taken at my, uh, my grandfather's memorial. Um, my dad's a little bit older than my mom, but that is us three. And then I have two sisters. Um, the They're both half-sisters. The one on the top just got married to um, a guy named Alex. She has three kids. The one on the bottom is also married and has four kids with a set of twins. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. So that's our whole family. Um, a really good experience that I got to have was a trip to Germany. Um, I went to Germany with my best friend Caitlin, which was really, really cool. Um, we went at the end of March and beginning of April. There was just so much to see, and I wish I could go back and learn a lot more stuff. I'm not a history person, but this really got my attention, and I love history there. That's my German family. Um, the father's name was Sven, the brother's name was Halka. And um, my German's name was Marie, and the mother's name was Dorina. And that is their house. It was a really pretty house. Um, they taught me so much stuff. Um, one time, <coughs> we were sitting in the kitchen doing something, and um, I don't know. They, I showed them something, and then I said, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And they just thought that was the darn near funniest thing ever. They were laughing so hard, they were crying. I just, I don't know what's so funny about it. They it's a German like, thing, obviously. I know, they were just laughing so hard. And so, I don't know, I just, I still talk to them now. They still message me, so that's really cool. Okay, um, a lot of people talk about their friends and stuff. Yeah, I love my friends, but this is my grandfather, and he died in January. Um, he's my best friend. I went to him for everything. And he had MDS, which is cancer in the blood marrow, and the, um, or the bone marrow in the blood. And um, before he passed away, I got a tattoo for him on my back. And I didn't really want to say anything to him because, I don't know, I just, I was kind of intimidated. And my mom said something out loud. And he's like, nope, I don't want to see it. And so that kind of really hurt me, like kind of took a stab. And um, so I was like, okay, you know, we'll just kind of let it go. And he passed away. And after he passed away, really
really weird. I felt a feeling on my back right shoulder, and it's just where my tattoo is. And I said, Mom, this is really weird. I feel this feeling on my shoulder. And she said, Melissa, that's your grandpa. And I said, he never even saw it. And she's like, yeah, but he's there with you. And it's just amazing. Like, I mean, I don't feel it much anymore, but when he passed away, I sure felt it then. So we used to do everything together. We, um, he had a Jeep. I drive it now to school. We bought it for my grandma. We used to go trail riding, count deer, go fishing. The reason why I got the bear tattoo is because when we were fishing one time, we saw a mama bear and two baby cubs. And I was like, Papa, look, a bear. And he like, we lived, he lived in a private club. And he's like, bear, and you could just hear it echo through the woods. And like, it ran across, because we were on the lake, and it ran across like, um, from house to house. And it was just so cool, that's why I got the bear. So, and that's the only time I saw a bear, was when I was with him, so that's really cool. But I miss him. All right, this is a really big achievement for me. I've been in 4-H for 12 years. Um, most of my ribbons I received from showing goats. Um, we had a goat farm of 55, a lot of goats. <laughs> um, it was kind of rough because I was young, and so I couldn't help my mom out as much as I could. But it was rough because she would get pinned to the trees by the bucks, and it was just, it was a lot of work. Um, we also had horses. We rescued them. This horse up here is actually my uncle's. Her name was Angel. And this one we rescued. His name was Ibby. So... Um, back to the goats. When I did fair, there was um, a class that you could do, like you dress you and your goat up. And when I did that, my goat was a block of cheese and I was the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> and then this was me when I was really young. We had, um, that was a pygmy goat. We were bottle feeding them. And I was looking through pictures and I was like, wow, I had glasses when I was that young. <laughs> my mom's like, no, it's like, you just want to be like, so they're just fashion glasses. She's like, yeah. So they're not real glasses, but whatever. <laughs> I thought we had one more picture of a horse that I had, but um, while I was talking about animals, these are my very first pair of boots oh my God. <laughs> that my grandma and grandpa got when they were in Texas. Um, I've had them for a long time. And I honestly wore them because they're a little scuffed up. But Still fit. The what? The what? All right, and whoops. And this is my favorite picture. This me, myself, and I. I was just so cheesy and happy and cute. Hello, cheeks, curly hair. I'm just so cute. <laughs> Well done.